Welcome to my store. Take me for more information. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Turbulence. Hope you all have had a great day today. I am Ziva. I will be your co-commentator today. And we have Rowdy Rob with us today as well. TV and your friends, the show is about to begin. Well, there's referee Sarah Jane. She calls it right down the middle. She's one of the fair referee. In the first match, she gets to uh, observe and rule over is two ladies fighting. I like it when the ladies fight. They prove one thing. They are tough. Yes, they are. Now, we've all seen Zenobia before, but I haven't seen Saduko before. So, you know, that's gonna be, she's going to be a new one for me to watch. She, she's uh, Japanese. I reckon she's going to probably have some martial arts skill there as well as skill in the ring as a professional wrestler. It's going to be interesting to see. And while we're waiting, fans, I just want to invite you to like us on Facebook. Right behind us is a Facebook like page. And if any of y'all want to be a wrestler, want to join us, you like it, you want to be a part of the show, fill out an application, and you can be part of our show. And we'll train you, too. It does take some training to wrestle. To wrestle, it, it is something that, you have to learn because you yeah, got to know what to do, where to do, and when to do. But we're also looking for our referees and commentary staff as well. So if any of those jobs interest you, please fill out an application. Okay, okay, okay. So, all you guys, all you fans out there, you're probably wondering why I did what I did yesterday, last week. Well, put it simply, I said a long, I said before I even came over here, I was going to bring one hell of a crisis to Thursdays. And seeing how my contract states that, well, I'm actually employed by, I don't know, both shows. I figured that I could come out here and show these, this paper champion, what for? I mean, come on now. 
this guy come I mean both them guys former champion current champion this ball right here oh, that's all that it really matters is this belt the world heavyweight championship and just like I did with the IC title I'm bringing it with me over here just really really well I guess turnabout's full turnabout uh turnabout is you know fair play so come on out Well, I reckon he's waiting for Dave. I wonder where old Dave Maclanata is. was about I mean I'm not in the truck anymore so I don't know why they were playing his video I don't know I was fixing to say isn't that normally when you're in the truck that they kind of you know <laughs> oh I mean uh, I have some fun back in the truck don't get me wrong but you know no idea why they played his music <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, apparently Dave's kind of scared to come out here and face a real champion. So, we'll, so I will make him, you know, make him a little deal. See, if he's man enough to face me, really? The monkey's in the back playing it. <laughs> Did they put the gerbils in overdrive today? They may have. I'm not sure. I don't know what these monkeys <laughs> in the back are going to be doing. <laughs> Is he actually going to come out now? Somebody somewhere is playing with somebody's head. I reckon. Come, come on, Dave. Come out, come out. Oh, there you are. Thought you might have been scared. You have something to say to me. Okay, okay. Give him a mic. That's right. Prance your little royal ass up in here. What is it that you have to tell the real champion? Rob, Rob, Rob. 
You just that you stepped into the wrong dog yet. Seriously. You really think that you're the real champion. Real champion, yeah. Guess what? I've got I've had that you see that belt that you're wearing around your waist? I've held that twice. Okay. Don't worry about that. This belt right right here I'm I'm wearing, see? This is the third time I've got this belt. So when you put it along with uh, all the other belts I've had, I'm still a better champion than you'll ever be. Uh. So, so your your little uh, hissy fit last week was nothing. Yeah, yeah, you saw me. You saw that I was gonna win, win my title again in over red, and you thought, you know what? I'll destroy Dave's match and I'll do, and I'll put one over red, put, get him out of the picture. And you know what? Nah. It's not gonna work with me, buddy. See, Dave, that's, that's one thing about you that, you that you're good at is getting under people's skin, but I, I'll tell you what. You know, that won't work with me. But, you know, to continue on what I was saying, I've got a little deal for you. I say, we settle this once and for all next Thursday at Undisputed. What do you say? Folks want to see that? The champion versus champion? The world champion Rob Crisis taking on the VAW champion Dave Mack? Because you know what? I have yet to be in the ring with you. And you know what? Being in the ring with me could be your worst mistake. I thought people... I've ended people's careers. Uh, well, what do you know? I've ended... Yeah. I've ended people's Necks myself. Been broken. Legs have been broken. Spines have been busted. Heads have been cracked. Do you want me, do you want me, do you want me to add you to that list? Really? Well, how about this then? How about we go ahead and have a match tonight? And then to determine the stipulations for Undisputed. Because, you know what? The thing about it is, is you will not. I've faced demons. I've faced devils. I've faced death itself. And you know what? I'm still standing here. I am still standing here. And you know what? How about I add you? to the list of people. You said you were going to retire, so how about I put you on the list of the retirees that that is on my list? Oh, oh, oh. oh is that a sell? You, you think you're going to retire me, you know, without my free will or whatever? No, you're wrong. I'm going to retire when I want to retire. And then how about it then? Taking that belt from you will be my biggest retirement present I will ever receive. Do you know what? If we'll have a match tonight, you're on. So, whatever happens tonight, the winner sets the stipulation for next week. And that title's coming back with me. Alright, I'll see you tonight there, Big Shot. Yeah. Wow, it looks like we just got another match added to our amazing card for Undisputed next Thursday. Y'all are not going to want to miss that show at all. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a good match. You got the irritator, that's what I call him. The next level irritator, Rob Christ, is going against a well strong man. Both of them get an equal amount of boos and cheers from the fans. Tweeners, mm, I guess so. These, these fellas are going to rip up in the ring. I tell you what, it's going to be a fight to the finish. There's going to be blood. There's going to be sweat. And there's going to be tears. Probably so. But as I said, it looks like we have got an awesome card. We're not, you know, We've already got a couple of matches already signed for Undisputed, and that makes another one. Uh, Y'all are not going to want to miss it at all. It looks like our ladies are about to come to the ring now. Yeah, that's 
That's right. It's going to be good. I like watching these ladies fight. i tell you what. Zenobia, she brings to this ring tremendous strength and power. But she can also get up on the top turnbuckle and fly. She has, she, you might as well say, as a lady, she's a total package. Sometimes I, think, sometimes I think Zenobia's got a set of wings as well. That would seem so. I've seen her do a flying elbow drop, all kinds of flying moves. It's interesting when a tall and strong person can get up there and fly. And then her opponent... Sudoku, I don't know anything about, but I, like I say before, I assume she's a martial artist as well as a wrestler. Well, I guess we'll see how these two ladies fare up. Tell you what, we also got people from other Fed to come in here and watch our shows. You guys are welcome. I'm glad y'all come watching uh, watching the talent that we have. If we give you any ideas to make you more creative, that's our pleasure. Go for it. Satoka wearing the kimono to wrestle was very, very interesting, unusual, I'd say. And you know, I see a person like that. I'm always thinking about food. All I can think of is a teppanyaki steakhouse. Oh, <laughs> I bet you thought I'd say sushi, didn't you? I was wondering, Roddy. <laughs> oh. And we're on. Zenobia is um, quite a bit taller. Than her. You might say she towers over her opponent. She sure does. <laughs> Very like much so. Right up to her shoulder with the top of her head. This is a judo match. When you go up against a taller person, that's where shoulder throws come in. Mm-hmm. A knee to the midsection, followed by a uh, high rake. Ooh. And Zenobia hits her with those chops as well. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. That chick kick looked like it hurt. Uh, yeah, I did. The Sudoku's good takes her down with a headlock. For a count of one. Lady, she's tough. Look at her get up like get up real strong and Zenobia is she wobbling around like she been at a bar. <laughs> oh. oh and a big old shove. And a 
kick to the gut. She may be little, but she's putting some punishment on. And there's another chick kick by Zenobia. That's uh, that really works. Yeah, that really works. That stopped her rally, and now Sonobi is on the attack. She's got her arm right. A perfect oh. Yeah, Sarah, that one kind of smarted. Now the little Japanese wrestler, she is getting up a little bit slower this time. Nobia, she, she's going to probably... Let and that huge warm club. Zenobia is trying to push her through that mat with that forearm drop. And a count of one and two, but not good enough for three. Zenobia, she's outpowering her opponent because she understands that's what's going to get the job done if it does. She is dancing with what brung her? Strength and power. Mm-hmm. Oh, and a big punch from the little lady. And another kick to the gut. Oh, and a perfect hurricanrana. That was quicker than a hiccup. Uh, yeah. Noka has speed and an excellent kick. Zenobi the power. This is a speed burst. Power. Both ladies are outside the ring now. Says tell them y'all get y'all get back in here. Uh oh, they're over here in front of our table, Rowdy. We may have to run. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'll tell you what. They might want to use our table. But the referee is counting. If they're wise, they get back in the ring, take this fight back in the ring where it should be. Yes. And Zenobia with that scoop pile driver. Ow. And I tell you a joke uh, between matches and... <laughs> Zenobia is back in the ring, and that's smart, and she keeps, she is keeping the little Japanese lady out of the ring. Now she's up on the very top turnbuckle. What is she going to do? Bad buckle your seatbelt. This is going to be quite a move, I reckon. Look at that. She's up on the turnbuckle perch like a, like a bird of prey waiting for her opponent to get back in the ring. Zenoka is back in the ring and Zenobia just nearly took her head off with a flying clothesline and Zenoka is down and hurting for certain. Zenobia is getting her bearings as Zenoka is actually getting up. Interesting. This fight may not be over, fan. Call her elbow tie up. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, 
and a snap suplex from Satoka. I'll say one thing's for certain. I was about to ride off Satoka when Zenobia was up on that top turnbuckle, but looky, looky, she is in this fight. Yeah, she is. And Zenobia hits her with a super kick. You don't want to be a recipient of that move by Zenobia. Her power oh. and legs. Can you imagine getting hit in the chin with one of those? I, I wouldn't want to, no. And those big, huge ground stomps. She's trying to stomp a mud hole. Stomp hole by our leg drop. That's pretty smart. Mm hmm. One, two. And still not enough for three. Zenobia gets frustrated. Now you're going to start seeing some of her moves so when she gets frustrated. <laughs> okay, um, um, what's Gabby's music playing for? And there comes Gabby. What's going on? Zenobia's asking her, what are you doing here? And Sudoku performs that angle slam on Zenobia while she was watching Gabby. Oh, this distraction may have cost Zenobia her back. It may have. Oh, I'm I'm just getting word from the back that um, Gabby is out here because of um, her sister being beat up due to Zenobia. Hmm. Because I remember when that happened. I mean, Zenobia did a really big number on her sister. And there is the one, two, three. Well, I reckon Gabby, Gabby did what she came for and was successful. If that means that she wanted to distract a little bit so she'd lose this match, because that's exactly what happened. Yes, it is. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind y'all that next Tuesday, we are going to be having our Hall of Fame Awards Ceremony right here in this very arena. So make sure you are here for that. And then next Thursday, of course, is Undisputed. We've already got like three, ma three excellent, great matches coming up. One of them is going to be uh, really wild and crazy from what I've been told. So y'all are not going to want to miss that at all. So go ahead and mark those on your calendar to be here. And let's see here. We have uh, our official VAW website. I will drop that in local for y'all to see that right now. There it is. Let's see. We also have Rocket Fitness.
The Premier Gym and Health and Fitness in SO provides a fun environment for all ages. You have access to fitness equipment, free weights, aerobic classes, Tai Chi, and much, much more. If you want any more information about that, please contact Stormy Islay. Then we have Hot Spot Clothing. For all your Hot Spot clothing needs, check out Candy Trice, former women's champion and VAW Hall of Famer, has had to create innovative mesh and non-mesh de clothing designs for men and women. And guys, I do, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I do own a few of her outfits, and they are absolutely great. So go check it out. And I think we're fixing to get ready for our second match, which will be against Demon and Dustin. See which one of these men is going to come out first. Ladies and gentlemen, making his ring now. It, to the ring now is the demon. Well, there it is. The show stealer, Dustin Hall. Oh, I'll tell you, he's tough. He's in the VA 
He's still trying to make a name for himself. His opponent, the demon. The demon is one tough. He, he is a badass wrestler. This match is going to be a true test to see how much of the show show stealer can steal. And if the demon can bedevil his opponent, it's going to be a good one. Well, we haven't seen either one of these gentlemen in, you know, a couple of weeks. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how they match up tonight. Wait for that bell to ring. When that bell rings, it's on. And the opening shot of this little war is started by a demon with a kick to the gut, and now it's collar elbow tie up. Ooh, an armbar takedown by the demon. Demon's picking him back, back up by that armbar, too. And then a... Oh! This one's quite a bit smaller than the demon, so this is going to be... It's another match where one participant is shorter than the other, but size don't matter all, all the time in the wrestling business. That's very true. Both men are still locked up in the center of the ring. Kind of testing each other. And Dustin Irish whips Demon into that corner. And in the corner is a dangerous place to be, or not. It depends. Oh, and he is just pounding on the demon. Sarah's telling them, y'all, y'all get out of the corner. The show stealer has a demon down on his posterior, and he seems to have the matter all in hand. It looks like the show stealer is on top of his game. Sarah's having to get on to him. He's got that foot choke hold on him. If he's counted to four, if she gets to the sixth, I think it is. Isn't it six or is it ten? Mm. Either way, you don't want to make Sarah mad. True. All these fellas gets gets fresh with uh, Sarah. She'll kick them in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and demon with those huge outlaw stops. And 
I snap suplex on Dustin. Oh. This could be it. Sometimes a pin is one, two. Each year, the other time. Just to count a two. A pin is the way. That's right. A pin can be a way of a way of getting your breath, also a way of gauging how beat up your opponent is. Dustin looks like he's, uh, yeah, he's a little bit wobbly there getting up. Demon catches him with that kick to the gut. And a front face lock pulled him back out to the center of the ring. The front face lock can lead to a lot of different moves, up and down, and it can also lead to a choke. The referee better be watching them. Well, you know, Sarah, she's always got... Oh, and... Dustin hits him with a kick to the gut and breaks that headlock. What a struggle. Both men have a lot of strength and so it shows. A huge drop kick by Dustin puts Demon flat. Interesting the way he did that. He, he bounced off the ropes and then he just stopped right in front of him. That's good control. And then he had to leap up high to get that drop kick. It was nice done. Now he's doing those outlaw stomps on him. I think he's trying to make sure he's going to stay down. So fans, tell me this. How many wrestlers do you know have won matches with a high-flying drop kick? Seen quite a few. Oh, and a DDT! I am thinking of one in particular during the whole Mania day. Dustin's going down for a pin. Jumping Jim Brunzel in the WWE. And just a two count. That high drop kick kills the outlaw stomps. I reckon he has to do a lot more to defeat the demon than this. And watch out, the demon can come back. And the other thing. Either man that wins this match, the, uh, he's going to know the other one was here. And he whips him into that corner. Oh! And he... Wow, that is his rage, and a demon strike. Hey, what? That's quite a move. Yes, it is. The demons got quite a few finishers in his arsenal. And he just used two of them this time to take out if he does it. 
The Joe Steeler. And he got a two and count. Demons um, arguing with Sarah. And while he's arguing with her, he's given time for Justin to get up. Demon, I wouldn't argue with Sarah. Classic boo boo in the ring. Turning his back on his opponent. That kid cost him the match. Yes, he is. Right for the referee, Sarah Day. The show oh. catches him with a low blow. <laughs> Show Steeler is performing the foot drag. It looks like he's going to go in for the kill. Pulling him back out to the center of the ring. Sarah Jane's watching like a hawk. Make sure nothing bad happens. And Dustin performs a DDT on the demon. Oh. I mean, he wasn't even over the low blow, and then that. Hey, He is really on the move. He's really dishing out the pain. He just got to see whether the demon is out or not. Well, we've all seen demon take a lot worse. So, you know, I wouldn't be too sure. Well, this is the best I've ever seen the show Steeler do in a wrestling match. If he wins this, I will be very, very amazed because that ain't usually what happens. Now... Dustin's going up to the, um, looks like the red light district over there in that far corner. Into a flying elbow drop. Oh, right down on the demon. That most definitely knocked the wind out of him. Flying elbow drop from the top turnbuckle. It's a And just a two count again. Neither one of these men wanting to, you know, they're they're still wanting to go. Oh. Showstopper must be saying to himself, "I hell do I beat this feller?" <laughs> <laughs> he could be. Slim Jim's tasty, man. Too much, eat too many Slim Jims, you gotta drink a gallon of water. All that salt. About as bad as a, as a pepper. 
really love her speeches. And Demon is just... Dustin is just pounding Demon, Demon with those punches. Rolling is Demon's forte, so... The show Stealer is trying to drop him into a brawl. I wonder what he got up to sleep. And a huge kick to the gut on Demon. Whips him into those ropes. And Demon performs, um, okay, yeah, um. Uh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. For a one, two, three! And Demon is your winner! Really? Just have you work! Yup! <laughs> wow! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will be having our main event come up here shortly. It will be Rob Crisis versus Dave McLenata. Show Steeler did not win this match, but I'm going to tell you what. He was there. Yeah, he was. Demon. Yeah, I reckon the demon's going to have to go to a chiropractor after what, <laughs> what Show Steeler did. It both men are hurting for certain. Alright guys. The DMMC Explore the Drifters of Mayhem Motorcycle Sim. Take your bike on our three level custom built track filled with twists, turns, jumps in our six gate Titan track. Feel like bowling or playing biker ball or round of golf? We have that as well. Shooting ranges, paintballs, zombies for your shooting enjoyment, and a demolition derby area, bike obstacle courses, and much more. Lots of shopping and bike builders as well. Concert areas, drive-in theaters with new movies every week. Commercial and residential rentals to suit your every need. So come visit and schedule your MC ride out today. If interested, please contact Babe Pinier. Let's see who else. Now, guys, y'all do realize here at VAW we offer sponsorship packages. So if you have a business and you want us to, um, you know, advertise for you. <laughs> do you want a business? Well, here at VAW we are proud to announce that we are offering sponsorship packages starting at the low price of 200 lindens a month. If you want the best, then come to the best. Please contact Vince Aftermath for more details on that. And guys, don't forget, we do have Twitter as well. Well, I'll drop that in the local for y'all so y'all can see that. Some of these. Now, now, as a... You know, earlier we were talking, the, you know, when... Dave Mack and Rob were out here. They were talking about Undisputed. That is coming up next week, guys. So, you know, that is going to be one crazy, crazy card. So y'all are not going to want to miss that. It'll be here. Same time, same bad channel. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the winner of this match that we're fixing to have will get to put the stipulations on their match that they have then according to what Barab was saying earlier. So we will see who wins the match tonight.
And Lillian McLenotta, she is there to make sure that she can cheer on her her man, Dave McLenotta. The next level, Rob Crisis against Dave McLenotta, the Welsh strong man. I'll tell you what, I have no idea who's going to win this match. What about you, Ziva? Well, it's going to be very interesting to find out. Both wrestlers have a following of fans, and both wrestlers have a group of fans that can't stand them. Very interesting. She don't want to touch. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Sarah is not a perv. Right, you are a superstar. That is true. That's why she told him to be still. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm convinced, too, that uh, she's a referee, not a urologist. <laughs> oh, Dave, I tell you, you got to admit, that feller's full. Yeah. Let me say one thing. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fans, we done grossed out the referee. Contest, in all seriousness, you've got the very, very strong and powerful Welsh strongman, as I call him, Dave McLenotta. He's got an arsenal of finishers, such as the Doom Stave device and many more. And he uses his power to win. Can't blame him. Fella gonna dance with who brought him. Rob Crisis, not only is he a Great professional wrestler. He trains new ones. So you know, old Rob Crisis, he knows how to fight in that ring. This is going to be the teacher against the strong man. And that's what I think. Yes, it is. These two men locking horns in the center of the ring. Dave gets R Rob in a wrist lock. When when somebody has a lot of strength and power, that can turn a regular preliminary move into a very painful hold. Yes, it can. 
But Rob just flips it right back around, and then Dave just one right after another. Both of these wrestlers are powerful. Not only that, both of these wrestlers are quick, too. I think they're pretty evenly matched. That makes it quite interesting to see who it's going to be. Now, there ain't no stalemates in professional wrestling. This goes over to time. They're going to wait. This match ain't over until somebody wins. It ain't over till a fat lady sings, and I don't see any fat ladies in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, with that huge shove and a throat thrust. Just showing how strong he really is. A hell of a, that's a hell of a move to do on somebody that if they got a sore throat. Yes, it is. And Rob does that. A jawbreaker. Oh! Dave may have to go see the dentist over that one. Rob, he gave that there jawbreaker, and it's just like an uppercut punch. Sometimes that can knock a feller out. Yes, it can. And a drop kick to the face after he whipped him off those ropes. Yeah, if it didn't, if his face didn't already hurt bad enough. And Dave comes right back with that huge power slam. He gets him in that neck wrench hold. That can, yeah. That can, you know, seriously hurt somebody. Dave McLenata at the top of his game. He's got Rob Crisis right where he wants him. And if Rob Crisis can't break this, there's no stopping. And there's no knowing how many of these vicious, slow, vicious forearms he's going to dish out. Dave is going for the pin. Just a two count, though, and Rob kicks out. You know close doesn't count in the professional wrestling. However, when they pin like that, and it's just a two count, sometimes that just gives both wrestlers a chance to get a break. And I tell you, with the adrenaline flowing from the excitement and with the punishing maneuvers each one imposes upon the other, that's wreck. I reckon that's going to tire a person out. 
Well, you know it does. Rob hits Dave with that kick. And then a twisting DDT. Oh, my God. Nice. Ooh. Sarah, you better watch out, sweetie. You almost got hit. Yeah, be careful. We don't want the lady referee to get hurt in there. She's doing a good job. Sarah always does a great job. Rob whips Dave over into that corner. Well, we don't want you to get hurt either. We got a lot of new people in the VAW watching this match, like the Southern Cowboy, like like my good friend Christy88. My gosh, I'm so happy to see she's going to be part of the. Uh, Vixens in this business, it's going to be great. Rob with that huge corner splash. Rob, Crisis has the well strong man in the corner. Now, Dave McElroy can actually come out of that corner and be very dangerous. This is a crucial move to see what happens. Yes. And Did you see that? Oh! oh, oh. As if the oh. gun packet didn't even phase him. Dave McLenata takes down Rob Crisis with a, a toe. Oh, yeah, um, ouch, that's really all I can say is ouch. <laughs> and a figure four leg lock. Woo! Ah, uh, that's a lousy bit there. But anyway, a figure four leg lock, that's going to It's bad enough he got bounced off the mat, and now this? Sarah's going over to make sure everything's... Now, I've never had one of those uh, put, one, put on me before, but yeah, I've been told that they are pretty painful. You can get a dislocated hip. You can get... And the injury to the meniscus of the knee. There's all kinds of things. Dave has taken out Rob Crisis' wheel, if you will. He is preparing him because when he does one of the power moves, if Rob Crisis is unsteady on his feet or one of his legs is hurting, that's it. He can't resist it. He can't turn it around. Sarah's asking Rob, do you, you know, are, are you give? And he says, no, he's not. Rob Crisis ain't going to give. He'll pass out in the ring before he'll give up. Both of these fellas, each, each of them had figure four. Look at that. Dave McElroy oh. had to perform that figure four reversal. How did I not catch that? Sarah's counting. Seeing which one of these two men get up first. You know, they're both, quite, both of them are in quite a bit of pain now because, you know, Rob had it on him and then he reversed it right back on Dave. So, yeah. Well, looks like Rob's making his way up. Let's 
slowly, but he's up. This is, this match has a potential to be a stalemate, but I doubt that because the referee's going to make the match continue until there is a winner. Oh, Rob hits him with that left cross, and then Dave comes right back with a slap. <laughs> and now they're going to trade blows for a little bit, looks like. Both these fellas like to brawl. Yes, they do. I mean, it's just trading blows back and forth. Oh, and that borderline face buster. Nicely done. Yes, but ouch, again. <laughs> Break the fella's nose if it's done right. Mm-hmm. Dave is going for a pin. One, two, and Rob kicks out. That just goes to show that you can't you can't uh, really get Dave can't really get a win over the next level that soon. It has to be a lot more. Both of these fellas do not go quietly into obscurity of a loss. Both of these fellas are used to winning. This is a great match. Uh, this is a pay-per-view caliber match. Yes, it is. Dave whips him into that rope and does the broken dreams on him. Oh, oh. That hurts worse than a low blow. Yeah, it does. Uh-oh. Oh, um, yeah, um... <laughs> Uh, Dave. <laughs> say it, say it. <laughs> Rob is saying, no, no, no. I wouldn't want that done either. Oh. I am glad I'm not in the ring wrestling right now. Take back. I tell you, the fella, <laughs> the British sure know how to cuss. <laughs> I think I think Dave is just enjoying tormenting him at the moment. But what he said, I tell you what, there's this fella in high school oh. he had a shirt and Tweety Bird on it. And what Tweety Bird said was, even us birds like a little putty every now and then. Oh, when those fist drops. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Dave's going up to that red light district. That's right. Rob Crisis is still hurting from that there. All those damage done to his lower midsection. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And a flying elbow drop right down and it connects. Ooh. And a two count. Now, after this match is over, 
Is it somebody going to give the winner a microphone so he can tell us what kind of match he wants? I've already got one ready and waiting. I've already got one ready and waiting for him. Very good, very good. There he's going back up on this road. High risk district. But Dave's given Rob to kid time to catch his breath and, and get up. Shouldn't he be kind of paying attention to what Rob is doing? And back to his opponent. <laughs> Not uh, yeah. Oh, and Rob takes him down. Now, Rob can give as good as he gets. That he can. Lily cheering her man on over there. Dave McLenata turning his back on his opponent is a rookie mistake. However, knowing how Dave is, it may be a ploy. It may be a masked intentional move to try to trick his opponent. Very true. Oh, and those vicious stomps. Well, y'all rookies watching this match tonight, you realize... You may be in a main event like this sometime. Does that make you, does that curl your hair? Does that make you get goosebumps? Now, Rob is up in that red light district. Oh. And a swanton bomb on top of Dave. Wow! Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh. And he had some great heights on that thing, too. Now Dave is slowly getting to his feet, getting up wobbly. And the midlife crisis. I like the name of that. That's fun. One, two, and three. The winner of your match, the next level, Rob Crisis. Rob Crisis came out here, talked trash. Challenged him to a match, and Rob Crisis won it. That means he gets to set the stipulations for their match at Undisputed. This ought to be interesting. Definitely a tougher customer than I expected. But come next week, we'll see. Because I have three letters. T L C. Oh my god! Wow! Wow. So you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the stipulation for their match next week at Undisputed.
Well, fans, next week, same bat time, same bat channel. It's going to be a rocking sock um, hell of a good time. You don't want to miss it. Don't forget, we are having the Hall of Fame Awards ceremony on Tuesday at the normal time. And then next week, Undisputed, right back here on Thursday. You are not going to want to miss it. Thank you all for coming out today. Y'all have a great afternoon, evening. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we will see you all next week. Thank you, Omega, Omega Terry. I don't hope I done pronounce that match right. Very nice of y'all to donate to the VAW. We appreciate. It. This video was filmed on location by Zarkin Productions. Zarakin Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakin.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakin Productions and their own media links. Zarakin Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakin Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.